You haven't heard from Dante since that cop was killed? Uh, he texted me. He called last night to say that he was going to be OK. He wanted the kids to know that he was going to be OK. I could practically feel all of his feelings bottled up. I mean, I, I get it. It's really tough when you lose one of your own. Yeah, I bet. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess Dante is doing his whole, hey, don't worry about me, I'm fine thing. Can't say I'm all that surprised though, you know? No, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know Dante. I mean, he's always the first to step up when someone else needs help, but the last to ask when he needs it. You know, one time he broke his arm in camp. He ended up being the one who consoled Mama Q, not the other way around. Dante, always been the strong silent type. No. No, what? Well, one of the things I love the most about Dante is how open he is and how willing he is to talk things out. Oh, hell, well, that, man, that's new. It was good, it was great, but no. Dante and I, we don't keep things from each other. That's how I know that whatever he's going through, it's, it's bad. There's gotta be something that'll help us figure out where Esme's holed up. Uh, soil samples, grass, something like that. All we have is the earring that Elizabeth found on Rory. Yeah, but the lab hasn't come back with anything on that. We don't know where that thing came from. Excuse me. Yeah. Cody? Yeah, um... Hi. What can I do for you? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm sorry to bug you. I just still have your number in my phone from when you thought I might be your son. That's all right. What's up? Uh, I was hoping maybe you knew where, where Dante was. I'm standing with him right now. Why? I'm with Sam at Volanino's, and she's pretty worried. Dante didn't come home last night. Thanks. I'm on it.